A wave of violence, civil unrest, and widespread chaos in Ecuador as the country's president, Daniel Noboa, declares a state of emergency. Days of terror in the port city of Guayaquil after reports that the leader of notorious gang, the Chineros, nicknamed Fido, escaped prison Monday. He was serving 34 years for murder, organized crime, and drug trafficking charges. Violence broke out at prisons across the country this week as prison inmates, gang members, took at least 130 prison guards and more than a dozen staffers hostage, according to the government. Mass gunmen then stormed a television studio, ordering TV station employees to lie down. In the video, you can see the gunmen pointing their guns at the crew, and you can hear screams and gunshots in the background. One witness spoke to the AP and said one of the gunmen shot a cameraman and broke another person's arm. The assault was captured on live TV and was seen by thousands of people across the country. After 15 minutes, the signal cut out. Officers with guns drawn rushed inside the studio, releasing the hostages and arresting the 13 gang members. Explosions and car fires were reported in several cities and towns in the South American country. In several videos, you can see armed men roaming the streets, authorities calling it a takeover. At least 11 people died. President Noboa said the attacks were the gang's reactions to the government's moves against them as government officials plan to build new high security prisons for gang leaders. Noboa called the gang members terrorists and ordered the military to neutralize them, something he said the nation should have done long ago. Estamos viviendo en un estado prácticamente de guerra en contra del de terrorismo. No son estos grupos de delincuencia organizados son terroristas el cual se financian algunos de ellos con narcotráfico algunos otros con tráfico de personas órganos asimismo como armas President Noboa was elected in October on the promise of restoring peace, decreasing violence, and regaining control of the country's prisons. Counter-narcotics experts say the small country of Ecuador plays a vital role in the supply chain economics of cocaine, which is usually sourced in Colombia and Peru and travels through Ecuador before being funneled up through Mexico to the U.S. American officials condemn the attacks and want to offer non-military support for Ecuador. We're monitoring the situation. Uh, we're willing to take concrete steps to improve our cooperation with the government of Ecuador as uh, as they begin to deal uh, with the violence um, and the uh, and the stressors on the on the population that this violence has has uh, has occurred. And, and I think I'll just leave it at that. In fiscal year 2023, border agents encounter more than 117,000 Ecuadorians at the U.S. southern border five times the number from the year prior. In October, the Biden administration announced a new legal pathway to citizenship for Ecuadorians fleeing their country to seek asylum in the United States. The family reunification process will allow Ecuadorians to be considered for parole on a case-by-case -case basis for a period of up to three years while they wait to apply to become a lawful permanent resident.